every empty bottle has a story. And with a story that really adds depth to the term mainstream media. Good evening and welcome to CNT News, a news source that puts you at the centre of the story. And we at CNT, together with you, we aim to make fake news great again. Did you fuck them? Yes. A huge thank you to my front bum of reporters across the planet. Thank you, Cammy. Thanks, Cammy. Thanks, Cammy. Thank you, Cammy. Who's that coming here? Thank you, Cam Well. Hi, it's Les Woodlock. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. So I went to Google and I searched hot Scottish men in kilts. I didn't find men who were hot. I found men who were hot. It's not just the birds and bees that are rejoicing, it's also cocaine users. <laughs> we'll be talking about that later. I'm never trusting the Apple Bottom forecaster. Never again. I'm Trent Stone, reporting from a yoga studio with Gary Vaynerchuk in Manhattan. So I'm here with my assistant, Trish Stone. I asked Ali for a comment. Trent and Crystal sitting in a tree, K-A-S-S-I-N. I hate them. This is Crystal Waters with the scoop on the poop. Barnaby, I think Cammy's Irish. You can do this, Crystal Waters. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Yeah, what is it, Cammy? I'm doing my work. You're freaking disturbing me. When she sets her sights on something long, hard, and full of semen, there's no stopping her. Okay, okay, right. These are the lips he has donated for Mr. President Donald Trump. I spoke to a local man, Shaki, 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 come. Come, Shaki. Barnaby Frickleton here with Channel 7 CNT News. We're at a local pubic park, live here from Stockton, California, where we literally just watched a man drown. It's been alleged that a strange man has been lurking with a camera. I think I'm in North Korea. I prefer to learn about people that are willing to do what it takes to become famous. It's fucking pouring out here. I'm getting wet. And this is one of the rare occasions that the phrase 8 to 12 inches can be used in association with something white. Folks, hi, it's Les Whitlock, and I'm back here uh, crossing the United States and exploring unknown and untouched areas. So, folks, there you have it. Another report from Les Whitlock. What the hell is the Whitlock vault? Tell me lies, tell me sweet Are you sending me a fax? That's the sound of the fax! I'm doing the news! Les Whitlock reporting. What's the worst that could happen? I'm not sure. But there have been a few indictments. And that is about all we have time for this week. A huge thank you to you, the viewer at home. A huge thank you to my Connecticut mudslide of reporters across the planet. The world is full of governments incrementally reducing your freedom and your free speech. Which is why tonight we're going to end in a quote from George Orwell, who stated, In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth, can be a revolutionary act. Don't have nightmares, and we'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>